Beautiful, desolate, dangerous. Iceland is all of the above. An island full of internal roads that can change their tune on a daily and sometimes hourly basis. Today, I'm trying my hand at camping on a four to five million year old glacier. What could possibly go wrong? This is the car that I'm gonna be using for this camping trip. It is a behemoth of a Land Rover. This is specifically the Land Rover Defender 110, but this thing is far from stock. We have 37 inch tires fitted on this thing. We've got a snorkel and a big old bougie rooftop tent. Because we're gonna be camping on a glacier, I needed to make sure I had the right rig for it. And this thing definitely passes that test. So this car was shipped over here from Europe. It's a 2008. This thing would fetch a pretty penny in the States if it was legal. We've got a six speed manual transmission, locking differential, and even a little horn. I am a little bit nervous about driving a manual off-roading. This will be a first for me, but we're gonna figure it out together. It is really confusing in Iceland that diesel is black and gas is green. All right, so that was like $50 for a quarter tank. Does this look like it fits in here? No. Oh. All right, how to find groceries. For some reason, I feel like I'm not in the right place. I'm at a shopping mall, but maybe there's grocery stores at shopping malls here, I guess. Indeed there is. Do you carry a cod tongue? Like the, no, 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 cod, tongue, no. no cod tongue? No. Okay. Hello, do you speak English? Um, do you sell cod tongue? Only frozen? Oh, it's softened? Oh, that's fine. All right, thank you. I was the one that called about the cod cheeks. Cod. Yeah, or cod tongue. The cod tongue? Yeah, but yeah. we only have 90 days off day. That's okay. Like this? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Now here comes a two and a half hour drive.
All right, so there are tectonic plates here in Iceland and some big ones at that. The two biggest being the Eurasian and the North American plates. Where I'm at right now is where they both meet. And exactly right here is where they meet. It's pretty cool to see. Nice rocks. But we aren't here to tectonic plate, we're here to see a glacier. And that exact glacier is the Langjokul glacier. Also, sorry if I completely butcher it because I, it's, they're hard to pronounce, all right? I mean, how would you pronounce it? This is the most popular glacier in all of Iceland, mainly because it's located right next to the big city, Reykjavik. Well, right next to it, it's two and a half hours away. But right now in the off season here, it is the only glacier that you're actually able to access by vehicle. And I use that term access very loosely. This glacier is 31 miles wide by 20 miles long. And at its deepest, it's 1,900 feet deep. This adds up to be about 360 square miles of ice. From the place I am right now, I have about a hour and a half drive left. So let's see if I can't make it there. With how big this thing is and it being, you know, had some miles ran through it, it's running really good. Knock on wood. I just set my fade up, didn't I? Now if something goes wrong, it's my fault. Great. Up here in the highlands of Iceland, I'm working with about 30 mile an hour winds today, and I'm sure my audio is top notch. But man, is it gorgeous. So I headed over to the Iceland website to figure out which road I needed to get on, and found out I needed to get on the road 550, which really might not be a road at all. Well, here we are. The end of the road. It goes from pavement to gravel. And when I checked this road in the morning, it was green. By the time I got here, it had turned gray. And I made an executive decision just to, to keep on trucking. Well, this road's definitely gotten a lot gnarlier. Lots of big snow banks, some soft mud puddles underneath it all. Right now I'm on uh, an F road, which is one of Iceland's off-roading roads. Um, they're all over this country. And there's actually a website you can go to to see what the status of them is. This one says online that it's open, so. Look at those cute little windshield wipers. It's like they almost do something. That was a joke. I, I have really big windshield wipers, like super big, like giant windshield wipers. This is a, uh, this is a doozy up here. All right, this, uh, this water is a little worrisome here. You just gotta be quick. Here we go. Say a little prayer for me. Oh. Wow, that was anticlimactic. That was simple. Oh, that was scary. That thing was up to the grill. Oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to be on this road. This vehicle's crazy, that's all I'm gonna say. Ooh. This road is a mess. Okay. This is so much fun, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I'm like plowing through slush and like, I don't know, a foot and a half of snow in some spots with drifts. It's so crazy. Oh. Dude. I mean. I mean, I get it. It's a capable vehicle. I understand that. But when you're... I've only got about 15 minutes left before I'm at my at my mountain road. So I'm just gonna keep on trucking, I guess. Don't have a reason not to yet. This thing's made it through more than I thought it would have, so I'm just gonna keep pushing it. I don't know why I thought uh, glacier camping sounded like an easier idea. It sounds pretty crazy, honestly. Well, this could be the end of the road for me. This is really, 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 really gonna be testing its limits though. This is by far the most capable vehicle that I've ever been behind the wheel of, other than maybe my Humvee. This thing is insane. Oh, I got myself in a doozy. Uh-oh. When I had made it about three quarters of the way down, I found myself stuck for the first time. I found myself a nice four-foot snowbank that was accumulating snow throughout the day. High winds, lots of snow on the mountains, leads to roads getting a little fluffy. Anybody out here today? <coughs> Radio check here on 45, wondering if anybody's out on 550. Over. Nobody's on 550. All right, so the issue is right here. If you look, the rear diff completely buried in snow. It's making it so we can't move. You can even see some of the snow's bunching up right there. We're trying to get ourselves out. Um, there's things that you can do to make sure that you don't get more stuck. Like, don't spin your tires. Air down if you really need to. Not too much though. And dig. Dig until you can't dig anymore before you try to get yourself out. This is like worst case scenario, honestly. Alone, by a glacier, stuck. So close. After about an hour and a half of playing with a shovel in the snow, I finally found myself unstuck and it was looking optimistic for the road forward. I ended up putting some rocks underneath the tires after I dug out most of it. And Look at it. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I know it's capable, but this thing's up to my wiener. Oh, now I gotta decide. Oh, I don't bring that with me. Oh, you dirty girl. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? About two kilometers later, going on a downslope, I found myself stuck yet again, and this time facing the fatigue from digging myself out not only 10 minutes ago, I was, I was feeling a little hopeless. Well, there's the glacier right there, and right there. Oh. 
All right, well, I think I've really done myself in this time. Hello? How's it going? I'm good, thank you. Um, hypothetically speaking, if somebody needed to get uh, out of some snow, who would they call? Are you stuck? Um, I'm on an F road right now. Um, I was trying to visit the... Um, yeah. Ask you where you are. I have a track on it. Yeah, so I'm on F550, and it was green this morning, but I checked just now, and it turned to a question mark. There's some snow, and I got stuck in a drift going downhill. Are you totally stuck? Uh... Yeah, I've uh, I could I could spend some more time digging. Find if you can find someone who uh, if someone's in the area. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, here is what I was talking about earlier. The uh, 550 road is where I'm at. I'm like right on this spot in the middle, like right here. This is the road I'm on. This was uh, green yesterday, so it was easily passable. And today, not, not so much. Well, better call Saul. I guess search and rescue's coming. Yeah, I think it might be smart to do tonight, because what if the weather changes tomorrow? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. My... The whole glacier camping being easy thing is really funny right now, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I should have turned around when I got stuck the first time. I just thought, I honestly thought. I thought it was going to be different. They're on their way. They should be here within an hour and a half. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't thinking about camping right here, but I uh, think for safety reasons, it's probably better just to, just to scoot. I'm still going to cook some dinner, though, because I'm hungry. It is 10.30 right now, and I have a fun recipe prepared. Well, I had a fun recipe for camping prepared, but we're going to make it out here right next to the glacier. We are making an Icelandic special tonight. That is cod tongues not actually a tongue of a cod it's actually the belly part this part of the fish was 800 Icelandic which is uh only like six dollars and I got like a pound I'm pouring some breadcrumbs right now frozen in. Oh, nice shot. What a sunset, man. Oh. This place is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Good thing this thing's a diesel. It likes to idle. Isn't it funny that it's 11.30 at night right now?
Here we've got cod tongue, chiles, tomatoes, some parsley, and green onion. I'd say it looks pretty good for being in the middle of nowhere. It's supposed to be on a glacier, but hey, these things are kind of funny looking, right? It's an Icelandic meal. Holy man, that's fishy. Woo! The guy that sold them to me was like, ah, they're a day old. Feeling like they were more than a day old, but I digress. The uh, consistency is a lot more like fatty. The belly meat of a fish, if you don't know, is usually a little more rubbery. They are not good. Mmm, I don't know what good. Potatoes. What a funny day. Spend like two hours trying to find cod hole. And then I thought I was making a video where I went camping on a glacier, but instead I've been sitting here. <laughs> uh, at least, buff. I, I don't think that I've ever spit food out like that. I almost just puked right there. That was not a, that's not Hollywood. That was real. What are we doing? Not even a resealable bag. What am I supposed to do, just house this whole thing? And what do you know about paprika Pringles? Hmm? Who thinks of putting paprika on a chip? I mean, it's absolutely sickening. It's sick. It's so good. But it's sick. All right, they're almost here. Alexa, play Riders on the Storm. Riders on the Storm. Riders on the Storm. Hello. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> You. Good, how are you doing? You're Great. probably doing better than I am. <laughs> hey. Hello. Maverick. Hello. Hello. You too. Maverick. Ready? Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Hold on. Nice to meet you. Do you have a, a... 10 PSI. 10 PSI? Yeah. Let's take it down to like 3 or something. 3? Okay. See, now I'm going to feel very silly if you just pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you give a kick. Yeah, it was a, that was a good kick. <laughs> In reverse? Yeah. Okay. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> A little help. Yeah, just a little help. Okay, so like, I don't know. Go big back to backwards okay. and go, uh, go into the their left. path now okay. and stop there and then we're going to plow the path on the right. Oh, plow it on the right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Have you driven on the glacier? Yeah, many, many times. I've gone so, snowboarding, I've gone so on the cool. snowmobile fields. No way. You think if you were driving, you could have got this to the glacier today? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> of course. You Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Thank you so much. Sounds good. I Thank you again. Bye-bye. Hey, wait, one second. So you don't have to pay for shipping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, have a good night. Thank you so much. You okay. Home sweet home. <laughs> All right, it's 2.30. Just found myself a hotel room. See you in the morning. Oh, I'm 
I'm sorry. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you in yeah, better you in better uh, <laughs> conditions. <laughs> so this is the truck that saved me last night. This is the search and rescue F-150. New to them. I think they said it's only like a week old. It was the first trip it went on. But it's a Ford F-150 on 40 inch tires. You want to give me a tour? <laughs> yeah, give me a little tour. Okay, so originally it's from Canada. Uh huh. We just bought it completely stock okay and it was shipped all the way to iceland yeah and then we got like a truck built the special guys in Reykjavik who do it okay they made all the suspension and the bodywork nice then it was wrapped in this surface yeah this color it's oh. really it's a manual yeah no it can be can be manual and automatic it's sick <laughs> it really is brand new in here. It's yeah. gorgeous. And GPS is so sick. That's amazing. Thank you so much for showing me. Thank you for so much for saving me. This thing's beautiful. All right, I'll do my best to stay safe. Yes. <laughs> Thank okay, you again. Okay. Bye. Bye. Sometimes there's just things we're not meant to do. And I guess last night that was one of them. There's always a silver lining now. Made two great friends and know what not to do next time. Thanks for tuning in. As always, until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking.